Profiles can be standard or custom. Standard profiles cannot be modified. Instead, clone them to create a custom profile of the same model and then edit that. In our profiles, we can also set our password policies. You'll remember that we can be setting these at the org level too, but anything set in our profiles will override that of our org. This lets us set more restrictive permissions for particular profiles. Some common standard profiles include the system administrator, standard platform user, standard user, marketing user, read only, and minimum access. We'll also be covering community profiles. The system administrator profile has access to everything that doesn't require an additional license. For example, they would still need to have that marketing checkbox ticked if they wanted to have full functionality and access to campaigns. A standard platform user profile allows users to use AppExchange apps that have been installed from AppExchange or developed internally in your org. They also have all of the standard functionality of a Salesforce org. A standard user profile is very similar to a standard platform user profile, but without the access to the AppExchange apps or packages. They have all of the core functionality of Salesforce, but are limited in their access to campaigns, which require a special marketing user license. The marketing user profile has access to all of the same things as a standard user profile, plus marketing specific features. This includes things such as campaigns, letterheads, email templates, and public documents. The read-only standard profile was converted to a custom profile in the summer 2021 release. In its place came the minimum access profile. The minimum access profile grants the least amount of access and permissions to a user. It includes access to activities, chatter, and general help link permissions. Any standard profile with the word community in it can only access Salesforce through the Experience Community Cloud. This is a very particular type of license that is usually reserved for customers or business partners to access a site that you have created within Salesforce, but not any of the real data in Salesforce, more like an external portal.